This is the Technospark 5. A successor to the Technospark 4 of 2019, this comes with a couple of new upgrades and a very little slight rise in price. In this video, we're going to find out what to expect when you decide to get one of these devices. Let's get to the video. Hello guys, it's Akakwa and welcome to another video. Before we get to the video, I highly recommend that if you're new to this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you get notified the next time I upload a video. Let's get to the video. Like we always do this, let me take you through the unboxing experience. Inside the box, you are greeted with a 12 month warranty card, a transparent silicone case, which I always find convenient until you decide to get yourself a third party case. Also in the box, you can find the earpiece, a micro USB cable, and the charging brick. The pin is placed inside the box. This is generally everything you find in the box when you get one of these devices. From a hardware perspective, this device resembles a Techno Camon 15, with the same number of cameras at the back, a whole punch display on the front, both having 720p panels, and also 5000 milliamp power battery found in both devices. But this one in particular goes for 719 Ghana series, over 200 Ghana series less than that of the Techno Camon 15. Taking a closer look at this device, on the right side you can find the volume worker and the power button. The little details I appreciate here. The power button has this red accent on it. This makes it look really cool. The red and black combination is actually dope. On the left side, you can find a dual SIM card tray and a port for the micro SD. At the bottom of this device, you can find a micro USB port, a single firing speaker, and a headphone jack. At the back of this device, you can find a quad camera setup and a fingerprint sensor. The front of this device, of course, has a huge 6.6 inch display with a poncho camera at the top left. At the top side, you can find a LED flash for taking selfies. When it comes to look and feel, this device feels really solid. Just like the Camon 15, this device in the hand feels actually heavy. I like how this feels. It doesn't feel cheap, it feels really solid. When it comes to the display, this display looks really good. Bright enough to use outdoors, YouTube videos look amazing. This doesn't have inky blacks like that of an OLED panel, but in this era, I think IPS LCD displays are getting really amazing and you can rarely tell. This is a 720p IPS LCD screen at 6.6 inches. The screen is totally okay for the price point of 719 Ghana series. The colors are punchy, great, vivid. The viewing angles are okay too. For daily consumption of YouTube videos and streaming of videos, this device is going to do the job. When it comes to the internals of this device, this device packs a whopping 5000 mAh battery. I rarely get to charge my phone at the end of every day. The truth is, if you're going to use this as a secondary device, you are totally going to go days without charging this device. Trust me. One thing I noticed about the 5000 mAh battery is that it takes a while to fully juice up. But when it does, you're going to go a very long way with this one. When it comes to the other internals of this device, this device has the MediaTek MT6761 Helio A22 chipset, an octa-core CPU clocked at 2.0 GHz, a power VR GPU, 32 gigabytes of storage and 2 gigabytes of RAM. The combination of the CPU and the GPU of this device gives you a smooth device out of the box. I tried a couple of games on it and as you can see, I played PUBG. I was able to play PUBG at the balance setting low and I was even able to win a game. The graphics are not the greatest out there, but it's totally playable. I also tried a couple of games like 2D games and they played smoothly. For non-gamers and productivity purposes, this device performs fairly well. Coming to the camera department, this device has a 13 megapixel main shooter at f1.8, a 2 megapixel macro lens, a 2 megapixel depth sensor, and an AI camera. At the front, we have an 8 megapixel f2.2 wide selfie camera. These cameras shoot at 1080p at 30 frames per second for video. These are sample footages taken with these cameras. When it comes to the selfie camera, it's wide enough to occupy a couple of people in frame. The highlights were a little bit blown out, but the colors were great. 
the skin tones were okay. For the portrait shots, it does a good job at separating the subject from the background. Not perfect, but it's okay. Pictures from the main camera are decent. The skin tone is great. The colors are okay too. This is the video test on the selfie camera. Let me know what you think about the video. What do you think about the audio too? Does it sound great? What do you think about the skin tones? Um, I think it's okay. Let me know what you think about the camera in the comment section. Let's get interactive. Let's go. For security purposes, this device has a fingerprint sensor located at the back. Not the fastest I've seen, but this works okay. It also has a face ID incorporated in it, so you can unlock your face with your finger or your face. The Android 10 on this device makes navigating the phone a really nice experience. I like the gestures that come with it. The high OS also comes with a couple of gestures that make it really cool to use this device. This also has social table dedicated to enhance your WhatsApp experience whilst using this phone. Now to my favorite part of this video, that is my likes and my dislikes. I'm going to start with my likes. This definitely doesn't feel like a 719 Ghana CD. This phone feels heavy and really solid. The gradient look at the back makes this device look really premium. Also, I like this little detail here. The power button is painted red. That looks really cool. The black and red combination is actually dope. For 719 Ghana CD and a whopping 5000 milliamp power battery, this is definitely a must have. Using this device feels really good. You can definitely and always go a whole day of use without having to charge this device. For my dislikes, I wanted to complain about the micro USB, but for the price point of 719 Ghana CD, all I can say is, meh, this is just cool. Also, I also wish it was a little bit faster. That would have been awesome. Generally, this is a good pick, if you ask me. So this brings us to the end of the video. If you're new to this channel, I highly recommend that you hit the subscribe button, like this video if you liked it, leave in the comment section your views, your comments, your questions, anything you'd like to know about this device, I'm surely going to answer you. Thank you for spending time with me and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace, I'm out.